Um, being the outreach manager, definitely my area of specialty um, is community outreach and engagement. So I do want to touch on a couple of the programs that we are implementing in Orange County. Um, and definitely, unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm not the eloquent speaker that Registrar Kelly is, and so I, I can um, expound on these areas and maybe not some of the other more technical ones and, and logistical um, areas. So we definitely, like, like in San Diego and Los Angeles County, have a comprehensive outreach program. Uh, one of the things that was brought up that I would like to highlight is a program that uh, focuses on high school students and high schools um, in trying to engage with those who are just at the brink, right before they're old enough to register to vote. Um, we call it the My Ballot Program, and it's a three-component program. It consists of getting out to the school and doing a classroom presentation for either ASB. Um, I've actually personally given those presentations. Sometimes it's an ASB class. Sometimes it's the entire school that comes in for two assemblies throughout, um, throughout the duration of the day, uh, where you talk about the history of voting and just voting in general and, and really try to engage them on an educational level. Let them know the history of not just voting, but voting rights. And that's something that has come up um, several times today is just that long march from who is eligible to vote and who is that right to vote afforded to over time. I think a lot of high school students aren't aware that uh, some of the music they listen to, uh, namely, the, namely the Beatles and so forth, originated at a time where not everyone could vote that, could, that can vote today. And even if that right was afforded to those populations legally, say, um, realistically, it was difficult for some of those groups to get to the polls and to be allowed to vote in that manner. So um, it's interesting to see that light turn on in those students' faces when you're, when you're relating and, and taking information that normally they aren't interested in. They're not seeing it on their you know, Facebook feed because that's where their information IV is. Um, but letting them know this is related to you. This is important to you, even if you don't necessarily know it yet. So that's the first component. The second component is where we bring in a group from the school. It's usually, again, the ASB students. And they generate their own ballot for an upcoming school election, whether it be homecoming or the actual ASB elections. And we've seen a lot of um, interesting feedback come from that, where Putting together a ballot is not opening Word and then putting some names in with some boxes. And I think that's kind of what maybe not just high school students, but the public in general think, well, you know, they, they don't think of the, in, the effort that goes behind putting together a ballot. Um, so we, we have those students go through and they actually sit at computers and have a training on, okay, this is how a ballot is built and these are the, uh, these are the types of subtleties that you need to be aware of as you're building that ballot. Um, so it's kind of a field, field trip to our office. And then the third and final component is an actual election held at their school. Um, we, we implement the Hart um, Inner Civic e Slate and eBooth um, voting system. And so we take those voting systems out to their school. Um, and I, again, I've been there on the ground to, to be there with those students who, who are voting for their peers for student body office. Um, and when we have stations, 48 voting booths, the same voting booths that those, student, that those students' parents will be voting on in upcoming elections for, say, the president or local elections, um, we get a lot of good feedback. And I think it's, again, an eye-opening experience for those, for those high school students. Um, at one event, I heard a student walking out of the voting booth and verbatim said, well, this is legit. So they get the idea that you know, voting is not something that those old people do. And the, people, the students who are engaged in those elections, my hope, and obviously the intent of the My Ballot program, is to engage them before they're even out of the 18-year-old gate and, and um, ready to, to register and to vote. So that's one of the programs that we've seen. It's grown from one school in 2008 to so many schools requesting it that we actually have to limit how many we can do based on our, our resources um, in this past election cycle in 2014. Um, I think other successful outreach and engagement programs that we've seen is something called, that we call speaking engagements, which basically is just going out to s smaller scale um, groups, organizations in the community, giving presentations. And some of these groups are groups that may be overlooked in other areas. Uh, we've done 
we've done presentations at, um, for people with disabilities. We've been to English class, um, English classes to do presentations on citizenship and then registering to vote. And we've seen a good, again, the feedback from the voter and trying to reach out to that individual and reach out to these smaller groups where we're making an impression on individual people who will hopefully go home and make an impression on their families over the long course of time. Uh, the intention there and the hope there, again, is to increase this, uh, this voter turnout and the engagement among the electorate. Um, speaking of impressions, another thing that we have really been focusing on since 2012 was a rebranding of the outreach program and an emphasis on impressions, making impressions within the community um, and within the different groups there as opposed, not as opposed to, but, but parallel with those kind of more intimate situations where we're meeting with community groups. So for example, um, the voting trailer, the mobile voting unit that we have was wrapped in a graphic that again fits the branding that we were doing for all of our marketing material at that time. Um, everywhere we drive on the freeway, it talks about voting, it talks about um, getting your voice out, and it's just a reminder to people because we know that from a marketing standpoint, someone has to be hit three, four, five times before that piece is, is internalized. So the more the impressions that we can make, even if we're not making a personal contact, um, is a success for us. We've been to unique venues such as um, concerts over in the summer, we've been to um, community colleges, street fairs. Um, we have partnered with, surf, with uh, Rock the Vote to do a surf the vote, because you know it's Orange County, so we have to be surfing and not rocking, I guess. Um, surf the Vote campaign where we actually had a a uh, band come and play at an event that we hosted, um, again, partnering with Rock the Vote. Um, trying, again, to put that impression out and remind people that um, voting is not just an election day thing. It's something that, that you can be engaged in um, throughout the year. Um, lastly, in trying to, as far as for community outreach is, is, in, is concerned, we also did a campaign in 2014 using um, local celebrities and, and um, figures for public service announcements. One of, I think the, the highest profile one was a, um, a former Angels um, team member that did a PSA and they actually showed that on the Jumbotron at, every, at the beginning of every Angels game with the message of the election's coming up, remember to vote. And I think the audience who is obviously at that um, event for a specific purpose and a specific entertainment to see someone who they know, whose name they know, telling them, you know, I vote, you should, is, is another powerful mes message that can be sent. I think in summary, um, and again, this is just kind of mentioning what everyone else has mentioned before in, in the wonderful remarks that we've heard today, um, the interest in the election, the candidates and the issues on the ballot. I think in the end, ultimately do drive uh, voter turnout. We act as, as an infrastructure, as the Registrar of Voters in the administrative role that we do play. We provide the opportunities for, for voters to vote. We try to make it as simple and as smooth as possible for them, remove as many boundaries as we can. Um, but again, it comes down to an individual decision of that voter, and if what is on the ballot is important enough for them to um, do what it takes to, to make their voice heard. Well, thank you. I'd love to see if you could send some materials to the committee from your work in Orange County, because that sounds really exciting. Um, you know, and we all know how much Orange County loves their angels. Uh, <laughs> So, but, but really, that, that sounds fantastic and, and um, gives us some really concrete ideas with regards to outreach that, uh, that you know, I think we're looking for uh, in, in the LA example. So thank you. Thank you so much uh, to all of you for, 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 your, for your, all your work in addressing these critical issues we've been talking about today. So let's, let's, um, let's move on to the next uh, panel.